Hi, I'm Ashley Marie, and today I'm making you two of my very favorite dinners that I learned to make when we were living in Japan, tonkatsu and katsudon. Now, they're both breaded pork cutlets sliced up and served over rice. The tonkatsu sauce is a really rich, dark, flavorful sauce. You don't need a lot of it. It's really strong. And the katsudon is this sweet uh, egg and oniony dish that pours over and the sauce gets into the rice. And seriously, it's amazing. This is actually the very first food that I ate when we moved to Japan and I fell in love instantly. I love Japanese food and I hope to make some more for you. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything like Japanese food or desserts or cake. And let's get started. Now it's time to start on our pork chop. Now, you don't want a thick pork chop and you don't want a thin pork chop. You want something kind of in the middle, just a little bit under an inch, and you want it to be boneless. So take your pork chop and slide it into a bag. And really, I do this just to keep the meat from splattering everywhere as we hammer it. And then just taking the dull side of a meat mallet we're just tenderizing it. Flip it over, do the other side. And of course, it's also getting a little bit thinner, which will help the cooking time. We've about doubled this in size. Now we're gonna coat our pork chops. So I have flour, I have two eggs. I'm gonna beat really fast. And then we have panko Japanese breadcrumbs. Taking your first pork chop, you wanna get it in the flour. And you want to kind of dust off the extra flour. We're not looking for a lot of excess because if it's too floury when you put in the eggs, it will actually just fall off. So then dip it in your eggs, pull it out, kind of let the extra egg drip off a little bit, and then put it in your breadcrumbs. Now, you can just lay it into your breadcrumbs, but I find that if you pour your breadcrumbs on top, you get a better coverage. So I tend to kind of grab it and press extra onto it. Now, I have heard of some people who then take it and dip it back in the egg and back in the breadcrumbs again to give it a little bit of an extra crispness, but I've never, I've never found that to be necessary. So I'm put it off to the side and repeat. So put your uh, pork cutlet into the oil and it should bubble right away like this. That lets you know that it's hot enough. If it's not bubbling quite enough, just turn the heat up. You can leave the pork chop in, cook it a little lower and slower. It'll still work out just fine. Personally, because I can only cook one at a time, I like to cook them a little faster. So I like to cook this on medium high high, kind of right in between medium high and high. Um, but uh, medium high or medium, medium high. <laughs> this is so confusing. <laughs> anyway, cook it wherever it works for your speed and temperature. If you find that they're cooking faster than you're really ready for them, then just turn the temperature down a little bit. If you find that you're standing around waiting a lot, turn the temperature up a little bit, just never all the way to high. That's gonna be a little bit problematic. Anyway. On medium high high, <laughs> I cook it for about a minute on each side and then I flip it over. And when it is a nice golden color, pull it out, let the extra oil drain off, and then put it over on a cooling rack over some paper towels and newspaper to collect all that grease and put in the next one. Now traditionally, you just slice these somewhat thinly and serve them with whichever sauce you want. Look how good that looks. That pork is glistening still. It's perfect. Yum, I'm so hungry. We're gonna start with the tonkatsu sauce because it can be made ahead of time and cooled in the fridge. Now I would recommend using a saucepan because we're reducing this and that means it's going to be splashing and splattering a lot as it bubbles away. Now for you guys, I'm gonna be using this shallower pan just so you can see the sauce a little bit better, but it is gonna make a mess. So we're gonna start with some soy sauce and some sugar. Now add to that some Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I never know if I'm saying that right or not. And then finally, we are going to add some ketchup. Turn that on and start stirring it. So it's bubbling away nicely. It's getting nice and thick. Our goal was to reduce it by 20% and it looks like we've done that nicely. It took about five minutes. So now we're going to add Dijon mustard and some allspice. Stir that in. Oh, that smells so good. And once it's completely incorporated, we're going to turn off the heat and uh, let it cool. 
Our tonkatsu sauce is nice and cool and we are ready to put it in a container. So I just bought this little condiment container that I keep it in and it holds a double batch for me. And then you can either use it right away or keep it in the refrigerator. It'll stay good for about four or five weeks. Slice your pork cutlet, serve it over the rice, and then top with your tonkatsu sauce. Now to make the katsudon sauce. So the first thing we're gonna do is slice our green onions. So we actually wanna slice these at a pretty sharp diagonal. Now we want to start with some kind of stock, a cup and a half. Now you can use chicken, you can use beef, or you can use vegetable, whichever you prefer. Then we're gonna add everything else. This is mirin, which is a Japanese uh, rice cooking wine, and some sugar, because this is a little bit sweet some soy sauce, some oyster sauce, and finally a touch of fish sauce. Now traditionally you make this with something called dashi. It's a uh, liquid broth almost made out of seaweed and kelp and it's very fishy, um, but it's kind of hard to find here in the States. And so I created some substitutions within this of things you can find in your normal grocery store, such as the soy sauce, the oyster sauce, and the uh, fish sauce. You wanna bring that mixture to a boil and then we're gonna add our green onions. And we're gonna take four eggs and slightly beat them. And we're gonna pour the egg mixture into the boiling mixture and we're gonna pull it off the heat as soon as the eggs are about halfway cooked. Once your eggs are halfway set, you are ready to pour it all over your pork cutlet and your rice. It will soak down into that rice and the cutlet and oh, seriously, it's so good. And it's all finished, really easy to make. And I love that it's something the adults love as much as the kids love. Now my kids always go for the tonkatsu sauce where I like to change it up and I alternate between the katsudon sauce and the tonkatsu sauce. And now is when I get to give this a try. Let's start with the tonkatsu sauce. So, mmm. Now, the chopsticks are a must. Make sure you get some rice. Mm. The pork is cooked perfectly. Great crunch. And that sauce is awesome. It has a nice bite to it, so don't go overboard when you're putting sauce on yours. And now for the katsudon. Now, honestly, I have to tell you that I haven't taken the time to make this for myself in a while, so I'm really looking forward to this. Mm. and the sauce goes down inside the rice. Mm. So good. I think I'll just eat this whole bowl right now. Mm. This just takes me right back to Japan. <laughs> no. In Japan, they eat with their bowls like right here and they just shovel it in and I love that. I love just shoveling. I love living in Japan, and the food that I miss the most is actually the day-to-day -day simple food like this tonkatsu. Over there, you can get it everywhere. Walk into any restaurant and they have it. Over here, you go to a Japanese restaurant and it's almost never on the menu, so that's why I make it myself because it's worth it, it's good, it's simple, it's delicious. I absolutely love it, and I would love to share more with you. So leave me a comment down below letting me know what ethnic food you like the most. I like Japanese and Greek, and I love Indian food and Thai and Mexican. So let me know what recipes you'd like to see more of in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And thanks for watching. Mm. Mm, so good.